Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple days, but we're back out here. It's a beautiful summer evening here on the land and uh, we're gonna be installing something pretty cool. Let me uh, show you what we got. All right, well, the thing we're gonna be installing is what is a, called an emergency hand well pump, submersible well pump for our deep well that we drilled last year. So I'm gonna show you uh, everything that goes into this and I'm gonna talk about a little bit of everything about it, why we're doing it and the benefits of it. So uh, stay tuned and let's get after it. All right, so uh, like I said, we're gonna be installing a emergency uh, hand well pump for our, for our deep well. And the company that I'm working with uh, is called Ep Well Solutions. So I essentially, I've been looking into this, uh, I guess you would call it an industry, for a little while now because I really wanted to have a water, you know, we have a water source, but we have no way to get it until we get our uh, electric down, you know, electric to run a actual electric well pump. And then in the future, if something happens, we got to service on it or we lose power, uh, you know, we'd be out of water. And I started researching and I kept seeing F Wells Solutions. And uh, they're based out of uh, Washington State. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get a hold of these guys. And I called them, really started, I started talking to him. I spoke with, uh, his name was Tucker. And he was awesome. He told me everything about their company. Um, he explained how this kind of came about. Um, learned a little about the company and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, and I was like, I really need to have one of these. So I was just really moved by, one, their customer service, um, and two, their knowledge of their, of, their brand, of their brand and their product and what they hold. I was really thankful that I found these guys and um, really looking forward to seeing how this product works. So I'm just gonna show you how to install it. It's very simple. Um, the kit comes with most of the things you need and I'll go ahead and show you what we need. So first and foremost, uh, the piston, obviously, this is a submersible piston with a little foot valve here, and then you have your one inch PVC casing and then your half inch uh, that actually pulls that piston up. So this is obviously the pump itself, this is the main thing. And then what comes with it, in the package that it comes in, comes with all the connections for your one inch and your half inch thin wall pipe. Your instructions, which you're definitely gonna need, and then your handle to actually do the pumping. So on top of that, all you really need is uh, PVC cement. Uh, you need actual lengths, most Big box or hardware store sell 10 foot lengths of one inch and half inch. And they recommend the thin wall pipe, not schedule 40 because it's less friction and it's more, uh, has a larger diameter for water to actually flow through, so more volume. Uh, so I was actually, I found both the one inch and half inch in the uh, uh, thin wall. So it was good to go there. The tools that you need are going to be a one and three eighths hole saw to drill the hole through your well cap, a 1 16th uh, drill bit to drill your weep hole about 10 feet down so it'll, it won't freeze in the winter. Uh, also need either a hand saw or one of the, the clamp cutters for your uh, to cut the pipe for some of the cuts you'll need to make. Um, and then obviously a hand drill, power, you know, power drill, battery power drill, and you'll be good to go. So first things first is uh, to take off the well cap and uh, get your drill, uh, get your mark where you want to drill for the, where it's going to go through the well cap in the casing. And um, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is I don't have my pitless adapters installed yet in all the electrical, but you want to have it as far away from your pitless adapter as possible, leaving the most amount of room to actually set your well in so they can both sit there and harm it. This is a six inch casing, which is plenty large. If you get smaller than that, you can get a little more hair. So six inches, pretty simple. Um, I know my house is gonna be there. I know it's gonna be running that way. So I will just put it on the opposite side. So 
also for the connection on the cap, just cut off about a two inch piece um, of the one inch and then put a coupler on the top and bottom, glue it down and that'll secure it. All right, so we got the cap done. Uh, my, you gotta check your uh, cement, but my cement is uh, just a 15 minute until full application. Um, so to actually use, so they recommend getting this done out of the way early, so we'll be ready to go when you go to install. So next step is really just getting all our pipe laid out and just kind of start connecting all of it and getting it ready to go, and then we'll get ready to drop it in the well. Uh, we wanna glue the half inch piece first, and then we'll go ahead and glue one inch piece and then we'll just kind of repeat this process uh, my static water line is anywhere from 30 to 40 feet so I decided to get six 10 inch lengths so it'd be about 60 feet deep which is plenty uh, deep enough past the static water line they like to see at least 15 to 20 feet past so that'll be more like 25 to 30 so I'll be good with that so let's get going want to make sure you don't use too much that was a little too much there so the excess you want to make sure you wipe away so it just doesn't get in conflict with the water uh, don't, you know just as enough that you need don't go too crazy on it and for this same process is cement up Stick it as far as you can, give it about a quarter to a half inch turn, let it sit for a couple seconds, and then after the full 15 minutes, it'll be ready to go. So you saw how we connected it to the actual piston pump. Uh, so now this is how you make the joineries for all your lengths. So you're just gonna need one of your half inch couplers, one of your inch couplers, and you obviously just go ahead and connect your half inch first, then slide your one inch down and connect it over. You just keep repeating that process till you hit the correct length that you're looking for. All right, so it's really that easy. So all I'm gonna do now is repeat that process uh, about five more times and I will uh, just 
pick you up when we're done. Next, really, the next step is we'll be able to tie our retrieval rope, and then I will get a, we'll go ahead and start getting ready to set it in the ground, or not in the ground, but in the well. One thing I love is how simple the instructions are, and how this simple how simple this whole design is. It's, I mean, I am not a plumber at all. I literally have really no plumbing experience. Um, and they make it very simple. The instructions are very easy. There's a lot of animated pictures that are very simple to under and easy to follow. And also they have a YouTube channel that you can actually watch a lot of their installation videos, how to uh, the instructions. Um, so you can actually see it live, someone making the, the whole thing come together. So that's just one thing uh, I just wanted to note. It's very easy to put together um, and I have zero experience and I'm doing it. So something to think about if you're not sure. In the meantime, while I'm uh, letting this glued uh, cement dry up, I'm gonna tie my uh, string to the piston here. So if something happens and I drop the whole assembly, I can still retrieve it. And it's just a good safety measure. So my bride is here and she's gonna help me uh, lower the pump down into the well. Uh, they recommend having two people, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just gonna help her, have her help me and we'll slowly put it in. So now that it's in, the next thing you need to do is just ensure that everything's working properly. So you're gonna actually pump it a little bit and see if it pumps. It's getting heavy. So now, uh, before I forget, we need to just drill the weep hole about five to ten feet down so it can weep out and not freeze over if you have to use it in, in cold weather. Weather, And then we'll attach the cap. And while the cap is setting up for 15 minutes, we will attach uh, the uh, handle. So remember, it's just a 1 16th drill bit, and I'm just going to drill through the one inch and then the half inch. So next, we're going to attach the cap to the main pipe coming up so it'll have enough time to set and then we'll do the handle. So we waited the 15 minutes. There's my dog, Smokey Joe. We waited 15 minutes and we went ahead and tied off our safety rope and left some excess. And we just decided just to drop it down and get it set on the cap. So it's set on the cap. So the next step, as you can see, the half inch pipe sits out probably a good five inches from that coupler. So when you go to put the cap on, it won't make sense to have that much on there. It won't cap. So what we'll do is we'll cut it down flush and then we'll add the 
uh, threaded on adapter to the half inch and then we'll do the other adapter to the handle let that all dry and then it'll be ready to ready to go all right so i got everything test fitted i got it all cut now i'll go ahead and glue this the female adapter on glue the male adapter on to the handle we'll be ready to pump The female piece is on. We'll go ahead and just put this piece on because you have to have a little piece of half inch for here to do the connection for the male adapter. So I'll just leave this on. Now, if you wanted it like really high, like way up here, you could have gotten another piece. But for me, I'm just, I'm good with where it's at right now. So I'll attach this and then attach it to the adapter. And then whenever I want to use it, I just screw it on and we there you go. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you're all done using it, um, you just do the cap and that's what it looks like. It's nice and clean, concealed, and uh, we'll uh, make sure nothing's sealed off so nothing gets in there. And then when you want to use it, it's just easy to pop right off. Well, there you have it, guys. Man, this is awesome. This is, uh, really cool it did a pumps really nice uh the weep hole weeps down because you got to pump a few times after a while and uh, everything seems to be working properly so i'm just going to button it up put the cap on it and uh, whenever we need it we have fresh water uh, available to us if something happens i can't say enough good things about Ep water solutions um they were really amazing they they uh, just a great company all around. I can't, like I said, I can't say enough good about them. Their products are, are spot on. What they said they were is what I got. Um, it's as easy as just doing it. It, it. I have no experience doing stuff like that. It, instructions were easy. The video was nice to, to kind of see it in person. And uh, it really wasn't that hard. I think it took me about two hours. So all in all, and that was figuring it out and just getting it done. So I just, again, thank you guys for watching. I will leave a link in the description to uh, Epps, um, their website. And if you would like to purchase one of these uh, systems, um, I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys. Uh, please go check them out. Let them know that Sycamore Woods Farm sent you. And um, again, we just thank you for watching and we hope you have a blessed day.